Hi, how are you doing today? My name is Bella DeArmit, and I'm so excited to welcome you to Find Kind. On this channel, I am dedicated to helping you find ways to prioritize kindness in your life. I'll accomplish this by sharing different service experiences, breaking down how to coordinate fundraisers, and by highlighting change makers and nonprofits that are going about change in a really unique and creative way that also happens to be effective. <laughs> I am so, so excited to start this journey with all of you. This is the official first video of my relaunch, and I just want to talk about why I'm here. I want to talk about who I am. I'm going to talk about, I want to talk about how I got here, and I want to share my exact intentions with you guys so that you understand exactly what you're signing up for when you press that subscribe button. So thank you again for being here. Let's go ahead and dive in. My journey to be in front of you today started in fifth grade. When I was in fifth grade, my class read an article about the Save the Children Foundation, an international nonprofit ensuring that kids have access to clean water and education. It shook my little fifth grade world so much that ever since then, my passion has been altruism. I love coordinating service experiences and fundraisers. I love volunteering. I love learning about change makers in the world. I love learning about cool and fun new ways that people are able to make a positive impact in the world. And honestly, that's why I'm here today. I want to share everything that I've been able to learn, everything that I'm still learning, and everything that I think could help someone else choose kindness and find kindness in their life. I initially launched this channel during the COVID pandemic with the help of my younger brother, Alex, who is really into video editing. And now he's especially passionate about color grading, which is the coloring of the video after it's been filmed, where you like mess with the reds and the greens and the blues of it all. <laughs> but Unfortunately, our partnership wasn't super sustainable just because we had so much on our plate and the videos eventually stopped coming out. This time around, I am taking care of everything. I'm filming, I'm, well, I'm planning, I'm filming, I'm editing, and I'm publishing all by myself. So it has been a journey. I'm learning so many new things and I'm having fun while, while doing so. So this is the relaunch of the channel. And it is the first official launch with the new name, Find Kind. Find Kind is really important to me because I want younger generations to have access to kind opportunities, to opportunities to make an impact. I think it's stupid that we are making these opportunities inaccessible to our younger generations because they're a danger on the volunteer floor. Yes. I understand younger generations aren't the smartest, they don't have it all figured out, they need instructions, but why are we keeping them from making a positive impact and empowering them with kindness? If we raise kind generations, then we'll live in a kinder world. That's my logic to it all. Okay, I need to take a food break. I'm getting a little tired. We have fruit. <laughs> Raspberries for the win. Mmm. your body my friends Ow. okay now that I have had my snack and now that you guys know a little bit about me a little bit about my journey I would love to talk about the intentions of this channel find kind is dedicated to helping you identify service experiences and kind opportunities that align with your passions I want you to find opportunities to prioritize kindness in your day-to-day -day life. And I'm not talking about anything crazy, okay? I don't want you skipping work to go and volunteer at a food bank every morning. I want you to realize that composting is a way to be kind in your day-to-day -day life. Oh my gosh, recycling? <gasps> what about upcycling? What about offering to walk your neighbor's dog? What about doubling your recipe for dinner and bringing leftovers to your neighbors or your local homeless shelter? What about knitting or crocheting a hat for your neighbor's new baby or for a crisis nursery that's local while you're watching a movie with your family? What about, what about 
buying ethical products and finding. There are so many different ways that we can prioritize kindness and find kindness in our lives. And I wanna share all of them with you. Find Kind has three main objectives. Number one, we're going to talk about how to coordinate fundraisers and impactful experiences out in the world. I'm gonna break down step-by-step step how you can organize a charity carnival or a bar crawl for charity or a dance marathon for charity. I love to organize service experiences. I love to organize opportunities and events where people can come in and make a positive impact and still have a fantastic time. So as I organize my experiences and as I meet others that have coordinated really, really cool fundraising events and experiences, then we'll break them down so that you, if you wanted to, could organize the exact event in your city, in your town, and in your community. So that's the first priority. Number two, I want to share volunteer experiences in worthy nonprofits and worthy causes with all of you. The nonprofit world can be a tricky and scary place to try and navigate. There's so many different causes and some are amazing, some don't have the best intentions and they'll do everything in their power to make sure that you still donate to them and that you think that you're doing good when you're really not. So on this channel, I'm going to be highlighting some of my favorite nonprofit organizations, some of my favorite causes that you can support and we'll discuss exactly how they're effective and we'll explore what their downfalls are and we'll get into the depths of the nonprofit world so that you can better understand where your money is going and the true impact it's having. Last but not least, I wanna talk about the nitty gritty emotional side of being a kind person. It's very easy for people of our generosity to get walked all over and to get taken advantage of and to mess up and, and burn out and lose our drive and our motivation to make change. But we are needed. I know you know it and I know it too. We need volunteers. We need kind hearts. We need people who are going to jump at the chance to do good. So how do we take care of ourselves? How do we protect our peace and our energy? while we still work to impact positive change. That is what I want to talk about on this channel. There will be vlogs, there will be interviews, there will be a lot of sitting here and chatting with you guys about nonprofits and local leaders and change makers and what we can do. So I hope that you will join me on this journey. I hope that you are a little bit excited about everything that is to come and I will see you next week. Now get out there and do some good. <laughs> that was nice. That was nice. Doom, doom, doom. <laughs>